Welcome back to Dust Not Included. Today, I'm gonna to go to Savers in East Providence. Let's see what they got. Today, I'm at Savers in East Providence, Rhode Island. I decided to go and grab myself a cart. While well, the first one was stuck, the second one was disgusting. Finally found a decent cart. Third time's the charm. This store was kind of disorganized and a little dirty, to be honest with you. The first item I noticed was this Capodamonte vase. It was stamped on the back. I thought I was going to get lucky, but no, it had chips, and so did its matching piece in back of it. This piece here is a Joseph's Original Music Box. It plays the impossible dream. I actually have one of these in my inventory, so keep a lookout, it may be coming up for sale soon. So I was scanning the shelves, checking out the figurines. I stumbled upon this Lefton November girl. She's just fantastic. Also, while looking at the figurines, I found this Christmas angel here. I love those. This here was just a made in China, brand new dollar store piece. I passed it by. This here was a really cute ceramic elephant. I couldn't find a maker on it. They were asking $3.99. I did a quick search and couldn't find any information. So I didn't take a chance. I decided I would not pick it up. This here is a newer modern piece. I did find it really cute. I love the squirrels on the pumpkins. Watching this back, it was made in 1991, so I guess that is vintage. This here was a beautiful piece of gilded glass. It was just a small little vase. They were asking $5.99, however, and I thought there was just too much gold loss for me to purchase it for $5.99. Hey guys, leave a comment below. Let me know, did I miss anything? Going down the metalware aisle, I decided to take a look at this tray. I thought the partridge in the pear tree was kind of interesting, but it was kind of rusty as well, so I did not pick that up. I also stopped to look at this toll tray bowl. It was really nice, except it also had damage and they were asking $5.99. Just too much money for that kind of damage. I checked out these brass items here. While they were interesting, I did also think they were kind of plain. They were made in India and they were asking $4.99 each. On the wood aisle, they had some really interesting pieces for a change. But they were also asking a pretty hefty price tag, $14.99 on that little sculpture. I also spotted these wooden, there were actually two of them, wooden roosters. I really liked them as well, but each was $12.99, so I had to keep moving. No fun wood pieces for me today. There was this brown drip plate and creamer. It had a chip on it and it was missing the sugar bowl. Each piece was individually priced as well. I just thought $6 for the two pieces and it's incomplete was not a good deal. This piece was beautiful. It was a hand painted Bulvarian plate. It was marked on the back. I really liked it, but for almost $8, that's pretty close to retail. So I had to leave that on the shelf. I also spotted these pitchers, three Italian pitchers, a lemon, an orange, and a rooster. However, they were each priced at $12.99. Lately, it's been a little hard to find good quality items that aren't damaged and aren't priced at retail when I go to Savers. What do you guys think when you're shopping? Have you noticed that as well? Hey guys, at the end of the video, don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. This glass here would have been an excellent buy if the decals on it weren't all worn off. It was only $1.99 and it was a Halloween peanuts glass. Checking out the mugs, I noticed this one. 
and I really liked its color. It was a modern piece. I collect Fiesta wear, so I did put this back because it would have been for myself. This piece, I decided to look up. It is a friend's mug. Online, they sell for about $10, and they were asking $1.99. These stoneware plates here can be popular. However, they had a lot of chips on them here. I was super excited to see this planter. It is a car planter, and it is made by Relpo. The sticker was still on the bottom, but then I noticed this little crack. So I checked to see if it went through and it went through to the inside as well. So for $5.50, I decided to leave that piece behind. See you later, car. I checked out this frosted bowl down here with the hand painting. I loved the hand painting, but the frosted glass looked like it had some damage to it and they were asking $7.99. So unfortunately that pretty bowl didn't come home with me. I spotted this china over here. It was a gravy bowl and a bowl made in England. They were asking $7.99 for the bowl and $10 for the gravy bowl. That was pretty much retail. This little creamer was cute. It's an individual creamer. It's Shenango. I thought this piece was really cute. It's definitely a vintage covered casserole. And I love the decals on it. They were just so fun. It had some major chips to the bottom though, and they were still asking $10. Too bad because I thought it was definitely cute. This piece here, was an awesome cookie jar, so mid-century modern. I put it down on the ground to check it all over. It had its original stickers on the bottom. I was getting pretty excited. But then I noticed the cover had a huge hunk out of it. <sighs> Maybe I should have went to Goodwill. The saddest piece I saw was this Pyrex bowl. This is in the butterfly gold pattern. It was definitely Pyrex, but it went through the dishwasher one too many times. They were asking $10. Well, I saw at the end of this aisle, there was a cart. So that meant they were putting out some new items. I didn't see anything on this cart but I might have to take another trip around. This little chalkware piece here was kind of fun. Hmm, I'm not sure. It's kind of funny though. I decided to hit the bag wall next. They sure had a lot of bags. I always like picking up greeting cards here. They always have them in nice big packs. These were uh, party invitations, so they weren't really useful for me, but I always check them out. This little guy was so cute. Too bad there was only one shaker. The other shakers in the bag were not very exciting. They were asking $2.79 for the lot. Hey guys, if you don't know, I have a live sale every Thursday at 6.30 and I rotate channels with Janine's. I like to check out the book section, especially the reference section. Occasionally I can find glass identification books or other things like that, and those are always really useful. Over in the fabric aisle, I spotted this fun print. I decided to take it off the hanger and take a look at what it was. 
looks like it's just a fabric remnant and there was uh it was all cut up they were asking 6.99 check me out over on district i'm on both vamp and knickknack marketplaces if you use the code dustno 80 you can get five dollars off your first purchase I decided to go around again and check because they did put out fresh items. There was this sun catcher. It was a hummingbird for $6.99. I also saw sheet music. They were asking $5.99. I decided to look through them and I didn't see any exciting covers, so I passed on those. However, I did not pass on this glass bird. It is Maud and Bob St. Clair from 1979. It's just a beautiful piece. So, kind of light today. I picked up this Lucite shelf for myself to do photographing on. This really awesome angel and the blue bird. Well guys, not a great trip, but it wasn't awful. I found a few cute things.